Tonight's headlines are brought to you by McDonald's and Mariana's Coffee. Good evening, Commonwealth, and thanks for watching the Channel 2 News. I'm Sakurako Halstead. And I'm Dan Shore. Let's take a look at tonight's top stories. The former Hyatt could soon be a Hilton or Sheraton. We go under the hood of a legacy property. Also tonight, guilt or innocent of a laundromat death match may be decided by a local jury. And customer service is getting a local update by one of the regional telecom players. Stay with us. These stories and more are next. Find a plan that goes with your flow. Get unlimited local talk, text, and data at the most affordable rate with unlimited flow postpaid. I love Marianne's coffee. Come join me for a cup. I think you would be really happy. This burger looked at one slice of melted cheese and said, more cheese. It looked at pickles and said, also onions. It wanted to be more than hot. It wanted to be juicy. This is the Quarter Pounder with cheese. Commonwealth. Here's our first story. The premier hotel property on Saipan has changed hands and the goal of the new owner is to reopen this November. Our Chris Nelson has more. Work is now underway at the former Hyatt Hotel property in Western Garapan. David Hood, the principal behind Caldwell Solar, has the keys to the hotel now after inking a deal with the former Japanese company that decided to call it quits earlier this year. Well, we're certainly excited. Um, we've been working on this for about four months. And what we did was we went to Porta Pia and we got them to assign their existing lease to us. It was quite a process, but um, it worked out real well and we're excited because that is all now finished. And so, um, we're looking forward to uh, reopening probably in November. Hood says they're currently working on securing a deal with an international brand. We're in talks with the Hilton and the Marriott, um, so we're not sure which one it'll be yet, but uh, we're making progress there, and we look forward that this will be a name brand hotel. It will not be the Hyatt. Unfortunately, they don't want to continue, but... Uh, the Hilton and the Marriott looks very promising. In the meantime, they're getting the band back together, hiring some key personnel and preparing for renovations. Came here like the day that they announced they were closing. And my first thought was, how do we save this place? I've probably stayed here over a hundred nights. And um, so I really became a quest to try to figure out how to keep the hotel going. And so we worked very feverishly over the last four months to make that happen. The exciting news is a lot of the former Hyatt employees want to come back to work here and are working here. And the, the competency level of them it was so amazing. Our transition was seamless. One of his first hires, Gloria Cavanaugh, who managed Pacific Islands Club as well as Can Pacific, she will be the general manager. 
Yeah, there's a lot that we need to do. Uh, you know, because we're going to be opening up with a, an international brand, there's a list of things that we need to go through. There's a lot of updates that we need to do. Uh, you know, then we also have to get, you know, it staffed. And so as we get closer to making a deal or, or having an MOU with the international brand that we will be bringing in, then we will know a little bit better as far as what our staffing needs are. Right now, I, I'm sure that uh, David had told you that we're only going to open the Regency side and possibly the Southern side first and then work on the main building and, and make it to the brand standard. Hood is a contractor and developer. His California company has built a number of large-scale solar projects for industrial customers. This will be his biggest investment in the NMI. Yeah, the hardest part was, um, you know, there was DPL and then you had the owners and everyone was trying to figure out what's the best strategy for them. And I just had to sit down with everybody and convince them this was a good way to go. Uh, this would save the hotel. And we just spent a lot of time talking to people and getting to understand our vision, which was probably the most difficult thing. How, how are we going to bring this back? And um, it was great because people decided, yeah, this is going to be good. So then we all got together and we put the deal together. A jury could soon decide the fate of a local man who authorities say was involved in a fight that led to another man's death. Judge Joseph Camacho will hear a jury trial in the case of the CNMI versus Calvin C. Tagabwell. Tagabwell was involved in an altercation in January of this year at Coal Laundry in Cagman. Officers responded and identified Lark Kassian as the victim who was subsequently transferred to CHCC. Tagawell told police that they were involved in an altercation and that he punched Kassian in the mouth and knocked him out cold. He also claimed to have told the security guard to let the victim sleep it off. On January 12, 2024, Kassian died in CHCC. The probable charges against Tagabell included voluntary manslaughter and aggravated assault and battery, a pretrial conference hearing on October 16. The Pacific Ocean unites our islands. It can also really help to have an undersea fiber when you are communicating with friends and loved ones. As our Chris Nelson reports, it's also good to know where Puerto Rico is when connections go south. My classic example when I first took over and is the reason why I made this decision is one of the customers here in the CNMI called our call center and when they asked them where is the problem, where do you live, they said Puerto Rico and the person started arguing with them that we don't have services in Puerto Rico. Unacceptable. <laughs> Everybody knows Puerto Rico here in Saipan, so I'm just like, that's the kind of thing I don't want our customers to go through. Christine Belletto is the new CEO of Docomo Pacific. As the first Chamorro to serve as the head of the company, I am rooted in the love of our islands, our culture, and most especially our people. Belletto says the company has a brand new way to reach and support customers in the Northern Mariana Islands this morning, a ribbon cutting for a new call center, which will be located above the retail store on Middle Road. Verna Sablon has been interviewing and training the team. We take care of the CNMI and any overflow will be routed to Guam and the same coming over. Brent DeLeon Guerrero is the brand manager. We're very proud that 50% of our call center today is consists of former hired employees. Um, and I think right now, you know, we're really looking at um, streamlining the operations. And so call center right now does take calls from Guam and Sinemai. Uh, but definitely now our residents here in Saipan, Tinian and Rhoda are going to be able to get a hold of someone locally here in the Sinemai. Company says it will mean better service for local customers and also new jobs. Many of the employees came from the hospitality industry. Boleto took over the reins this summer from Roderick Boss and says her vision for the company has two pillars. So we're really focusing our resources into beefing up the network. We want to be hopefully able to take advantage of bead funding to continue to build out and strengthen our network. And then the second part is exactly what we're celebrating today, which is our customer service. I want to have the best customer service in the Marianas and that have our people take care of our customers and make our customers feel our appreciation for them. 
Docomo Pacific currently has over 400 employees between Guam and the NMI. Chris Nelson for the Channel 2 News. A local man arrested in February appeared at a change of plea hearing this morning in Superior Court. Brandon Benaventi back in court this morning for a change of plea hearing. The 40-year-old Benaventi was arrested in February along with Consola Sean Sablon after a blue Toyota Echo was found in their Papago residence that was connected to a burglary and theft case. During their search, the K-9 team detected odors of narcotics on the vehicle. A glass pipe, a bag of marijuana, and two orange pills were discovered. DPS also found a rifle, ammunition, more glass pipes, and multiple items from a burglary and theft case and several baggies with white crystal-like substance. Each bag was individually tested and came back presumptive positive for methamphetamine. You thought one napkin for the quarter pounder with cheese was enough. It's not enough. At one of Saipan's beaches, this mother lays about a hundred eggs under the cover of darkness. She hides her nest as best she can and then slowly makes her way back to the ocean. The eggs hatch and the babies head for the sea where they will face a daily dose of danger. Just one in a thousand will make it to adulthood. Those that do will one day lay their own eggs. Sea turtles are protected under CNMI law. If you see one that is stranded or if you see illegal activity, call the hotline at 287-8537. King is back like prodigal. I've been gone. I gave them time. It's been I too long. Politic. If I want it, I'ma get mine. Never fake the funk. Can't perform for your empire. Snatch them out the throne. Make them all fall in line. I let the clock tick. Count down. Cause I'm on the headline. The deadline. I'm ahead time. The rare kind. I'm a living legend. Lethal weapon. Premium office space is available now at the Hermosa Vista Business Park on Capitol Hill. Features include dedicated parking, fast internet, backup power, good water, and natural light throughout to go along with the very best views on Saipan. So don't settle for space when you can get peace and peace of mind. Call Hermosa Vista today at 670-483-4750 or email hvsaipan at gmail.com. Fast, fun, and easy. That's how your home Wi-Fi should be. So start with an internet plan that fits your budget. Introducing your home Wi-Fi starter pack, also known as WISP. Enjoy up to 25 megabits per second for as low as $35 a month, plus a free router with your wireless subscription. That's hours of movies, games, social media, and more endless fun. Get your Wi-Fi starter pack today only at Docomo Pacific. Better together. Additional conditions may apply. The CNMI's top cop is on Tonga this week for a conference of Pacific Island Commissioners. Let's take a look. The, uh, the conference is, is to meet and kind of discuss 
on ways that we can improve our, our uh, law enforcement capabilities within right. the Pacific. And specific problems that you all, do they have ICE problems throughout? The they do, they do, islands? they do. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we, we appreciate the Australia, because Australia is a big, big uh, uh, people that, that actually funded this, this trip. And, and some of the things that they, they have the challenges, they shared out with us and, and we do share back with them. Good. So we, we hopefully that we can come up with some sort of, of um, uh, some kind of, of a way that we're going to curb the, the ice problem within, within, within the Pacific. Now, if you all heard already that the, the fentanyl had already yeah, gone no, into Guam. So, so right now, uh, I won't be surprised if that's part of the discussion. But I'm ready to, to give my, my, my uh, two cents to part of the problem that we're going to encounter. And what do you expect to gain from meeting with other police chiefs from other island nations? My take on, on gaining things from them is to listen to how, how they go about all the challenges that they meet on, uh, on dealing with all these uh, problems within the, within the community, within the Pacific. Uh, you have to understand that, that we're far away from Konos. And, uh, and uh, when, when we have all these kinds of, uh, of problems on our island, we, we tend to deal it on how, based, based on what we knowledge and, and what the resources. But you have to understand too that some of these islands, you know. And they're all suffering from COVID. Everybody is recovering. Yes, Still yes. Recovering. And some of these islands too, you know, they, some of them, their culture gets involved in, in some of these things. So I'm, 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 I want to hear what, what does the culture has to do with with some of their, their, their dealing with uh, solving some of the crimes there. The conference was set to commence on Sunday, the 1st of September, and run through Friday the 6th. The commissioner will return to his home island on Sunday, September the 8th. With a November election just around the corner, Guam's representative to the U.S. Congress lands in Saipan. People come and go, and some come back. We say hello to the many faces entering Saipan and speak with a couple of them to see what they're up to. Hi, good morning, half day. My name's Jim Moylan. I'm the congressman from Guam. I'm excited to, to be back on the island. It's a beautiful island. And I'm also looking forward to meeting with Congressman Kalili. We had some good discussions on supporting issues and a good friend of mine. And of course, enjoy the beauty of Saipan. Although each island is unique, Moylan highlights how Saipan and Guam are alike. Yeah, well, I think there's a lot of similarities, especially when it comes to the people and the warmth and the welcoming. That's why the islands are a terrific place to be. It has been eight years since the Saipan Night Market last raised its tents in Garapan. The weekly event returned on Thursday, and like Yogi said, it's half a day all over again. Once again, the Thursday night market is alive. The tents are assembled. Smoke rises from barbecues filling the evening air. Music is played. The community assembles and smiles are contagious, spreading from locals to tourists and back again. We're bringing back the one of the most popular calendar event for NVA, which is the street market. At times when we're doing tours, a lot of people would ask us, Hey, are you still having your street market? Yeah. So I said, they're working on it, they're working on it, and finally we're here. And Beautiful. It's back. Yeah. And does that touch you in some way? It touches a lot of us artisans that we don't have a you know, place to really showcase our talents at times. Mm -hmm. And that's why we are grateful for NVA and Arts Council for bringing back. So that way, our artists can be pretty much also be showcased in events as, such as this one. And what is your name and what is your art? Gordon Echer Marciano, I am pretty much you find me with uh, with MVA and our sponsors with events like this and I'm uh, always glad to help out. I'm amazed at the number that um, came out to support tonight. I'm amazed with the number of performers that decided to also come out. So we have four groups of dancers and one band to close out tonight's event. Yes, and so I like the traffic, I like what's happening, and I hope that we can get more as the days, you know, the Thursdays come. The 
The night market will continue every Thursday at the Plaza Marianas location from 5.30 p.m. until 10 p.m. Support your artists, enjoy your community, celebrate the island culture, eat, drink, and stay merry. This is Dan Shore, KSPN2. Motivation isn't always easy to come by. Thankfully, there's one place that continues to ignite my willpower. This one place provides me with the knowledge and support I need to grow so I can continue to become a better version of myself. This is where I discovered my passion, where I achieved successes that made me proud. It's home to where I improved my performance, seeing the opportunity in every challenge. And when doubt creeps inside and I think about giving up, I remember the heroes who've also called this place home. And just like them, I know that every last rep is always a beginning. No matter how hard it gets, nothing can stop me. I will always come back stronger because I'm part of a legacy. Hey, golfers, come north and practice your game at the Marianas Driving Range. New Year's local specials. Ten-piece coupon books available for just $60. That's a $10 savings. Want to get really good? Come work on your swing every day for just $99 per month. It's our practice pass, and you're going to love it. Grab your passes and go straight to the range. You can social distance and chip all at the same time, and the views are free. Reserve now at MarianasTrekking.com. You can pay online. Open seven days a week. Here's the weather. Tonight will be partly cloudy with a 20% chance of isolated showers. The evening temperature will mellow to a very comforting 80 degrees. Thursday will be mostly cloudy with a 40% likelihood of scattered showers and temperatures will range from a high of 88 in the day to a low of 77 at night. The sun will have set tonight at 627 p.m just in time to watch this weather forecast before stepping outside to see the day's final sliver of sun illuminate the Saipan horizon. Sunrise will be at 6.05 in the morning, just in time for one ear to open and shudder at the sound of roosters yelling, wake up to the dawning day. And I will then see you in the water or on the land. All right, that's the news and the weather. And we'll see you, sports, on Friday. Good night, Cinemai.